It's recording. Okay. It, can you see me? All right. Let's, I'm going to tie. I've tied each one of those. Now I'm going to tie to the end, in between each one. This way it kind of keeps it in place, you know where it is. I'm also going to go in behind each peg. Take this, bring the yarn behind there, and tie it off. That way, if we get both your ends done, that's how you're going to put them back on the board. It's easier if you tie those ends. Pause. Try to get each one of these tied off. Okay, now once we get each one of those tied off, Go down the other end, do the same thing, tie it off. Make sure that you're going behind the back of the peg. Tying off on the middle is kind of optional as to whether you want to do that or not. However, um, it makes it easier for you to take it off and put it back on the board is uh, kind of up to you. The main thing is to try to keep it in a same sequence. What we, what we have to remember is the first peg is the one that we start with here and the last one, tie it a little different, maybe put a, a different color yarn on there if you'd like. Something that shows you when you come back, I'm going to put the first one here and the last one there. And that will help kind of keep your yarn organized. Alright, one more tie on the last one. You can kind of tell because the last one that you did will be on the top and the first one you did will be on the bottom of the stack. So that kind of helps to get it back on the board right. Now, I'm ready to take it off of the board. And how we're going to do that is lift it up, lift it up, lift it up, all the way across to make it. Then we're just going to take number one off and lay it down, number two lay it down. Number three and number four. Now you're going to keep them in that sequence. Want A, B, C, D, one, two, three, four, whatever you want to call it. And then you're going to go take that and you're ready to die. 